<sighs> Alright guys, so if I would have done this part flawlessly, what happens is the storm, ch the storm chases you. By the way, it's dead. The storm chases you through here, and if you cut it just right, you run directly into here, and it follows you in, you turn, you shoot it, and that is... Uh, that's the actually end of fighting the swarm. Uh, now what I just realized is I dropped the Wraith at back at the beginning, and this, while well, this is the boss fight of the level, so we did we did defeat the boss, hooray. Uh, now I cut out the middle part there, because it, it's a lot of it's like trying to just bait it in. Um, I actually didn't die except for that one time uh, on this boss fight. I don't even think I died at all on this one. So if I don't, in my initial edit, if I don't see that, like, I didn't die. I actually just ran right through it and got him in there. Um, but what you do is lure him in there, and he's smart. So if you just stand in there, it'll just hover on the outside. It's like, no, I know you're there. Um, but, so you have to, like, stand on the edge, and then it's like, cut through here, so that way you kind of get through it a little bit easier. It's, it's, it's a major pain in the ass. Um, but then, right after this, we go outside, and we have um, one of the mini boss fights that these levels are more known for. Now, they do talk about here is... So, they talk about the transformation, and I'm believing what it leads you to do, it is transforming our planet to be a chimeran planet. Now they talk about us being the them being the evolution of us. They were here long before we walked upright. Uh, so there's the parasitic seed. Not parasitic. That's a virus. They call it the chimeran virus. So it's a virus that mutates you and turns you into them. Um, I don't know how that would actually be classified because like it's not like a parasite like it was in Resident Evil where it was before with the Las Plagas where it was like, oh, there's a host parasite or there are the soldier parasites, there's the, you know, higher parasites and, you know, one feeds the other, blah, 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 but the parasites are ultimately what it is. This is a virus that creates you into what you become when you become a chimera. However, the the, the, the virus isn't what dictates it. The chimera dictate themselves, um, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. So I, I don't necessarily know exactly how that would end up working out here. Um, but you do learn about how important it is for these... How, how important it is for, uh... LC is high. We lost to Titanfire. Okay, so there they, they talk about there's one of two birds. The other bird is still around. Um... I'm ready. Just point me in the right direction. Negative. Keep your distance. We can't risk taking the VTOL into a hot zone. Copy that. Nope. Oh, hey, look, two titans. This is frustrating because we haven't seen this yet. Oh my god, I forgot about all of this. So here, not only... So what makes this so frustrating compared to like every other point in the game here um, is one, those leapers, because they're nothing more than like doing a little bit of damage here, and the the doctor sucks ass. Like the doctor can't do jack shit. These guys are literally going to get super close to me. Um, I'm gonna try to run by him without dying, because um, what you want to do is you want to focus as much damage on one of them as you can. So that's what I'm, I'm going to try to do here. Now, I just lost my final shot there. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to pick up the, the Lark. And I'm hoping I can just dance around just enough um, to, to get by and not have to... Okay, there's the first one. Well, the sec... Now, sometimes that's... Oh, God, I, that was a horrible whiff. Um... Uh, uh. Nope, I missed every other shot. There we go. Whew. That's frustrating. Um, so like I said, these guys are just, they're bullet sponges. Um, sometimes you get the explosion of one to trigger the other, and that's always really helpful. Uh, now, if I said this was the, the worst level in the in the game, um, and not even like, I love the story. Like, I love how it goes into the backstory, it goes into why you're special, um, or why your character is going through all these other things, but the other guys who were also infected weren't. They were done with, like, a diluted version where you were like, hey, here's the raw DNA. Um, we're just going to shove it inside you and see how this works, because science literally is kind of how science works. Um, the 
The next level is the best level of the game. This next level was the E3 level that everyone so... Everyone loved it. Like, it, it is one of the... It is the, my favorite level design in any um, shooting game whatsoever. Even the parts of it where I'm like, ah, oh, man, this really isn't my favorite. Um, I, I love it more than anything else. So now you see the tower is activated. And it's kind of firing that thing up there. Um, and this one is going to be in Chicago. So Chicago is the, the best level design in this entire game um it is very very much my my favorite level and i think it's almost probably every like major fan of this game's favorite level um but you saw the tower there was firing that beam up into the air and that's going to be the major hint of like what's going on in the future was he worth it? Let it go, Cole. Because there ain't no inhibitor stations where we're going. You just made yourself a walking time bomb. Stand down, Corporal. That's an order. When you do turn, and it won't be long now. Now, he's I'll much larger than you, as you can you tell here. I won't hesitate. Not even for a second. Offer accepted. Now, until that time arrives, let's consider the subject closed. <laughs> You gotta have that bit of conflict there, and I always wanted to make one of the Serpa outfits there um, for Nathan Hale, because I thought it was such, such a cool outfit. Um, now, Capelli doesn't have to wear that one, because he's the gruff rogue um, that we're going to see in the third game, who turns out to like wear like Nathan Hale's almost World War II suit and the futuristic Serpa one, because, well, you know, we don't have a lot. But here is where we get to see what a Metropolis happens and what does to us um we haven't seen at this point even in the first game like you kind of go outside of london but it's like more of the outskirts of london it's not london right, central this is where we get to Dr. see Malikov, what our cities look like we don't get any other good look at this one like even in the third game like it like you get to you get to new york but that's well into this this is supposed to be the prime of the war us really losing and us trying just to resist this onslaught and this is gonna be the first time where we get to see like hey this is a major city this is where millions and millions of people lived and it, it's now a ghost town and we're gonna see how they do that because like i said um loneliness is one of the the biggest parts of this game if you're gonna do a game where you're the last humans and you're losing you're losing this bad i want this to feel haunting i want this to feel lonely i want this to feel like it should be full of life and things should be happening and they're not 